Welcome back. Today we're going to find out what a 140,000 mile 4.8 liter LS has for compression. This thing has been ran through the ringer. It was a junkyard deal that we threw together to do burnouts with and now it's got a couple burnouts on it. As you guys remember in the last video we found some water in the oil. I'm in agreement with most of you guys. It's probably just condensation but I went ahead and picked up a compression tester. We're going to test it real quick before we slap this thing back together. Hey everyone, gonna jump in here. I'm giving away two Doing a Burning t-shirts. All you have to do is comment below. I appreciate you clicking on this video and watching. I wanna give back to you guys, the subscribers, the watchers of the channel. Really appreciate it. Again, we're trying to get to over 20,000 this year. So if you can help us out, hit that subscribe button. Let's get back into the video. So this is how we left it sitting last time. I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and throw some oil in it, throw the valve covers back on it, turn this thing over. We are gonna go ahead and check the compression with it cold. I know you're supposed to warm it up, but we're just gonna check it. If anything's real, real bad, again, I don't even know what this thing had for compression since it has 140,000 miles on it. I'm just trying to make sure there's no like completely dead cylinder or bad valve or anything like that, which I don't think there is, but we're gonna find out. Went ahead and threw a couple quarts of oil in it. We got the compression tester here on the cylinder. So we're gonna go ahead and crank it over and see what we get. Here we go, cold check. Alex is actually gonna go ahead and hold the throttle all the way open so it goes to flood clear. So we're not trying to spray any fuel in there. And we can go ahead and crank her over. Not bad. Cylinder three, let it rip. Keep going, just hold on. Let me, one sec. See if I can get it a little tighter. So that's just under 150, probably 145 there. So not terrible. It is cold though. So, I mean, if it was warm, it'd probably be a bit less, but she got a few miles on her anyway, just well broke in. <laughs> so I might've said that wrong. I'm, I'm just not sure here, uh, I'm, but maybe compression gets better when it's warm. I'm not hundred percent sure, but then everything expands and all that. I, I don't know, but either way, it's not looking terrible. Next. Go ahead and do a couple more turns. Okay. Last cylinder on this side, go ahead. Nice, 155 right there. So that's how the driver's side looked. Now let's check the passenger. Go ahead. not fantastic go ahead and give her a couple more let me see actually if i'm all the way tight real quick tighten it up a little bit more go ahead okay. yeah about 140. so alex just did some googling it kind of said ideals no more than 10 percent between cylinders and you don't want any cylinders less than 100 which i know we don't want that and then uh just thinking back to trevor's on motion auto tvs like that corvette i think he was like 175 on compression so this one's gonna have less because it is a truck motor and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, we're probably not doing too bad. Nice, right around 145, 150 again. 145 again. Still going up a little bit, but that'll work. Final cylinder. again cool not bad so that'll be the last cylinder right around that 145 mark so I mean overall pretty dang decent there's all eight nice handwriting I got there oh yeah difference of 15 psi between the highest and lowest yeah. still within the 30 sure. psi variance we'll take that that ain't bad we're gonna go ahead, I think, and get some more oil thrown in this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna fire it up tonight or not, but it'll be completely back together, ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and finish, you know, throwing oil in it, getting the valve covers on it, everything plugged back in, and then, I don't know, we'll see see what time and what temperature it is. Maybe we will fire this thing up, but I can't really like run it all the way up to temp. It's so cold, it'll take forever in the shop to get up to temp. Go ahead and finish loading the syrup in this unit. Get it topped off. 
The uh, plug wires, plugs, coils, valve covers, everything's back on. So we just gotta do this and then we should be, should be good to go. Uh, this has that muscle car swap pan, so it takes like seven quarts. And 2050's pretty thick. Look who showed up even. Oh, yep. Real busy over there. Hey. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna do the honors, fire this thing back up, see if it'll fire up and uh, make sure everything's okay. We ain't got no leaks or all that stuff. Let me double check. Yeah, yeah. Checking all those, yeah. Should be good. It should have fuel kind of down in there now from us doing all that stuff earlier. A little bit. <laughs> Give it uh, two cycles with the key for the E. Two with the key for the E. Fired it up, ran it for a little while, let it warm up, but not all the way up to temp. We still need to get some more water in this thing. Otherwise, I think all it needs is some tires to get ready for a burnout comp. And I think that's it for burning. I think we are ready to head to the next Cletus cars, which it got postponed there to March. Uh, but that's the plan. Go down there and try to win another burnout comp. So if you guys want to see that or any other content, make sure you stick around. Also, if you want to check out another video, make sure you watch one of those at the end of this one. See you guys.